Hello and welcome back to Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2021. One caravan has been causing a stir here at the show and it's one I've been asked by a few viewers to, to come and have a look at, among them caravanning with the hoppers, hello, is this, the Hobby Maxia 660 WQM, I think. I don't know how they come up with these uh, wonderful acronyms. Yeah, WQM, just seen someone go inside. So we'll have a quick look at the outside where we give them a chance to admire. So as you can see, it's got a very smart front. This is the larger of the two Maxia models. There are only two. There's the shorter one. And I've got some really bad news for those of us in the UK. With a body length, of 7.156 meters. This caravan is 15 centimeters too long for us to be able to legally tow with a car of under three and a half tons in the UK. That's sad, isn't it, Dougal? That's very sad. So yeah, 15 centimeters too long to be towed in the UK. But we will have a look at it anyway because this is a really, really interesting concept. Okay, so the, uh, so the unladen weight of this beauty is 1,710 kilos with an empty PLM of 2,000 kilos. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. This is fantastic. We've got the kitchen at the front and then we've got the panoramic wind window above. Three burner hob. Quite why they've had to put the domestic fridge with the two way door, I really don't know, because you're never going to want to open the door that way, are you? But you know, I guess it's just easier for them. So, sweeping view of the kitchen, Little split level there. And this is lovely, isn't it? Neat touch. The light under here. So I was curious to know how they've dealt with the corner and this is how they've done it. These, these shelves that come right out. So you can make the most use of the corner cupboard. Isn't that absolutely superb? Now, as we look round, we've got the sofa here and the table, and it's a nice sort of informal feel to it. And the sign of the times, it's happening in caravan design a lot. It's, it's around the TV. And uh, as I say, that is a sign of the times now. Well, I think that in the marketing material, they've used the word hygge a lot, the Danish word hygge. And if I'm correct, I'll, I'll correct myself in the uh, subtitles if I'm not. I think they've got a Danish designer in to do the beachy range. And I think while they had her, they thought, right, we'll get her to do something a bit more premium. 
and what an amazing job she has done. If I'm correct, and it's the same Danish designer. I love this, don't you, on the wall, this sort of wood slatting on the wall. Absolutely beautiful. Retractable bed, so we've got room to walk around. Very popular in the UK, these, the retractable island beds. Needless to say, this is 2.5 meters wide, eight foot wide. But like I say, what a pity. It is too, too long to legally tow on UK roads. And then we have the bathroom, obviously separate shower cubicle. And then your wash basin and your loo. And of course the mirror for that all important Hello! Sorry. Right, so there you have it, folks. For all of those of you who were crying to see this, and I'm so grateful to you for asking me to look at this, because this is brilliant. A real nice, it's minimal, it's clean, it's simple, it's Scandinavian, but it's not cold, it's warm and it's hugger. The hobby, 660 WQM. Now then, Hobby, if you could just chop 15 centimeters off, you would make a lot of British people very, very happy. Okay, so there you have it, the Hobby Maxia 660 WQM. What a beautiful caravan, beautiful concept. This is only a prototype, and the price of this caravan in this particular trim level is about 36,000 euro. This is a prototype, so fingers crossed that Hobby can find a way to shave off that cheeky 15 centimeters, and we can enjoy this beauty in the UK behind a regular car. But all in all, it is absolutely lovely, and I just love the hugger feel of this caravan on the interior. Really, really good job, Hobby. Well, that's us back on P1, and unfortunately, this is the last video from Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2021. It's been a fantastic show. Got off to a bit of a slow start because it's always difficult to know what to show you on the first day. And it's such a huge, huge show. It's not always possible to find interesting and innovative products for two, three, four days after you've had a really, really good look around the show. So. As I say, got off to a slow start and now if we've got to finish, just got to finish because there are dozens and dozens of really interesting van conversions, caravans and motorhomes I would love to show you. But we need to take the weekend off. We need a couple of days respite because next week we're starting a new trip. We're staying in Germany and all I'm going to say about it, folks, is it's going to be something big so please subscribe to the channel if you don't already so stay with us there are some thank yous i'd like to say before we leave caravan salon dusseldorf 2021 the biggest thank you of all of course is to you for watching for supporting the channel and cheering dougal and i on as we uh plod our way around the halls and see what we can find for you to show. Apologies to those of you if I've not managed to show something that you're particularly interested in. There is such a diverse choice and as I say I could keep going for days and days and days but we really need to stop now. I'd also like to say a massive massive thank you to the YouTube community here in Germany because they really are the most amazing bunch of people. So of course, that's a massive, massive thank you to Camper Toby, to Sasha at Wiersind Camper, to Meli and Stefan, happy camping, and to Markus Van for Van, to Dirk and Sonja, Avanti on tour, and then of course to Andy and Petra and little doggy Josie, for their canine company and for their dog sitting as well. We've been so well looked after here in Germany and so well supported. Everyone has been so kind, so supportive. It's been really, really humbling and it's always such a pleasure to come to Dusseldorf, to come to Germany and share good times with these wonderful people. So a massive thank you to everyone who's made this a wonderful trip for us. Really, really grateful. 
So that's it folks, that's it for another year at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you don't already. Join us for our big trip. And it just leaves me to say, from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. There. I always get a bit weepy when we have to go. Don't you, Dougal? Hmm? Yes, I know. Oh dear. You excited about the trip next week? You excited about our big trip? Are you excited? I think my minorly excited. Yeah. But he never smiles. <laughs>